Hi, I'm Justin Kircher, CEO of DTE, and this is our story. We set out to create an urban athletic apparel line inspired by love and the idea that our generation is so extraordinary. What matters is what we do. This is our dream. <laughs> Hello, my name is Sean Alexander. And here's Sean Alexander busting it into the secondary. He may take it. Alexander is good. Is he special or what? 50 yards of special. I want to tell you about DTE and how it all started. I was getting ready to work on this great deal um, that was going to uh, um, be quite lucrative, I guess you all could imagine. And uh, as I was going through the deal and signing all the papers and looking around uh you know justin you know he came up to me and said well gosh you know business wise or even just personally you could actually do more have a greater voice could uh do more things make greater money use the money for greater causes or whatever but you would actually be in control if you had your own clothing line story of dte really kind of for me all began in a hospital room. I can remember laying in a hospital bed in downtown Seattle and looking out on the street and the people walking by the window that were going by. And I remember thinking to myself how lucky they were to have their health and to have their whole lives ahead of them. And they just had these blank stares on their faces. And I remember thinking, man, like, what they have and what they could lose and how precious life was and what I would have done in that moment. And it just sunk in it has been a part of me ever since then. Um, this whole thought of how precious life is and how fleeting it is and how easily it can be taken away from us and how important living in the moment is and embracing and treasuring life for all that it truly is. So fast forward a few years and um, it was during Sean's MVP season of 2005. And we had been doing some meetings and doing some business stuff. And I remember having the idea of why is it these big corporations that are making all the money? So Sean and I started, re started visiting this idea and saying like, well, you know, why couldn't we create some sort of an athletic apparel line or something along the lines to really take advantage of this? And I said, well, hey, you know, at this time in my life, I really don't have time to do that. So, uh, and that's the case for almost, you know, 99% of the athletes. Uh, we just don't have time to, uh, to actually worry about clothes and shoes and trying to build a, a new company or a brand. And Justin was like, no, nah, like, man, you really got to think about this thing. Let's, let's go for this. So in typical Sean Alexander way, I'm like, well, hey, Justin, you put your money where your mouth is. You come up with the great idea and come up with the new clothing line and I'll actually see where it goes and I'll actually jump on with you and we'll see what happens. And next thing I know, I, he comes back to my, comes back to me and says, I've got an extraordinary idea. <laughs> <laughs> no lie. <laughs> and uh, do the extraordinary was created. He said, you know, go and develop that idea. And, um, and I did. And, you know, on the surface, the athletic apparel industry as a whole seems very saturated. It seems they give a lot of big companies that dominate the market. Ten years ago, they were really only competing with each other. And now they're finding themselves having to compete with smaller companies because their target audience, which is our generation, we don't necessarily care about the big technology and the big company. We care more about the idea behind it. We care more about the style and the fashion of it because we're considered more of a style conscious generation. It was an idea to, to not only just come up with a brand, but actually a revolution. Um, something that would cause and want to inspire and impact people to do whatever's great inside them. You know, my case for that, that time was carrying the football, which most of y'all know that, that next year I win the MVP and we head off to the Super Bowl. But not everybody's gonna be an MVP or, or a Super Bowl um, contender. 
you know, some people are simply going to be people that just bust their butt in school or bust their butt in classrooms or bust their butt in the workforce and people that just go for it. And uh, at the same time, there's something in every single person that's extraordinary. And that's what Dude Extraordinary is about. It's athletic apparel for, for everybody and anybody to really step out and do something extraordinary. We want you to actually not go with the flow of everybody else. You are actually fearfully and wonderfully made to just be you. So rock your shirt, rock your gear, and you be extraordinary. With that thought and that passion and that drive and those ideas, you know, the clothing line began to evolve and um, it's, it's sort of come to where it is today. Years of meeting with um, industry people with research, with developing the concept and the idea and the clothes, um, and really putting as much into the back end and making this as substantial as we could, um, that brings us to where we are today. And our vision for Do the Extraordinary is not to have this little clothing line. We want to create something that impacts a generation. We wanted to create something that is competing with the largest companies out there and saying, What's really important is the message. What's important is the company. Is it a company that's about the bottom dollar or is it about sewing into the lives of people? Is it about sewing into the lives of companies and nonprofits that are out there making a difference in our world? Because that's what we're all about. Making a positive impact in our world because we believe that every individual can make that decision to do that. And, and we do that in so many ways. Um, and it has to do with what we're wearing and what we're saying and what we're doing. And that's really the heart of what we are all about. With a hunger for more, we set out to prove a simple point. That we are so extraordinary. Capable of such extraordinary things. What matters is what we do. So I was getting That's what I do. <laughs> that is a person that is doing the extraordinary. No, that was butter. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, we gotta do that again. Okay. The message. What's important is the company. Is it a company that's I didn't see your shadow on there? <laughs> what do you think about that? That was okay. Should I do it again? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it again. All right.